Thank you, Beth. Hi, really good to see you. And thank you for being part of one of these conversations with me. It's good to see you. Just uh, been talking to mum as well. Beth, just tell us a little bit about you and uh, about uh, uh, who you are. Well, um, I'm Beth and um, one of my favourite things to do is um, ballet, which I absolutely love. I do it every Saturday um and i also do tap and modern um i also love swimming um and also well obviously one of my favorite things to do is go to youth club because i've got lo lots of friends there including one of my school friends um called ema she's really nice so we go together um, Thursday I have guides but at the moment we can't meet so they're going to do some um, Zoom calls hopefully and then of course Sunday I go to church which I really enjoy as well. That sounds like quite a quite a busy busy week. I, I guess yeah. you don't go to school some of the time do you? Yeah school Monday You have to Friday. kind of fit that in around all the other things that are going on but there's a bit yeah. of space for that. Yeah, so so which, which year are you in at school? Um, I've just started year eight. Ah, oh, so it's been a, a, a starting at a new school and, and lots of change. How how has how's that been? Um, it was quite nerve wracking to start with in year seven because, um, although um some of the people I knew were going, um, it was still because there in primary school there was only two classes a year group. Um, but in secondary school, the one I go to, um, there's eight classes per year. So, um, yeah. So but I did have four or five other people in my tutor group who were previously in my primary school. That feels like it's a, a lot, lot more people around the place. And of course, then uh, last term was just very strange indeed. How was how was that for you? Um, well, last year, we, of course, we only got to do half a year, so it was quite hard learning from home because, especially at the start of the year, you didn't really get to know the teachers very well, and of course, you were doing them on video and maybe like meet um, Teams or Zoom or something like that, um, and it was quite hard to interact because the teacher might um, say something and you might try to say something at the same time um, and that's quite hard um, and we weren't allowed our videos on so you couldn't like put your hand up or anything oh, okay. or try and interact with them so that was quite hard yeah. So is it nice to be actually properly back in school now with yeah. real people uh, around the place? Definitely because I get to see all my friends again I think everyone missed that definitely a lot yeah. Um, and because I only met about 12 teachers last year, um, because there's loads of teachers and of course you only have one for each subject. So I've met nearly, well, I've met 24 teachers now. Oh, doubled. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. I'm, I'm delighted to hear clearly church is important for you and, and the club that you talked about. What was the club that you talked about? Yes, yeah, so I go to youth club um, on Tuesday, seven till eight-ish. I can't exactly remember because it's been a while since I went. We've just been doing it on Zoom and we've got Hannah as a leader. She's really nice. Um, she occasionally comes to Emmanuel um, to do creative church or something like that. Um, but yeah, there's about... 12 to 13 people I'd say um so not many but we do games um bible stories videos things like that it's really fun uh, that sounds pretty good and it's that sense of having friends and, and belonging uh, and one of the questions that I'm asking everybody in these these conversations is can you think of a, a time or occasion or something that's happened to you where your faith has been really important and made a difference so how you've managed or how your decision that you've made? Um, yeah, so when I was in year five, I think it was, um, there was a girl um, who was always left out 
she didn't have many friends um, and she had special needs so she messed around a bit um, and couldn't really focus on her work and needed help with it so um, because her teaching assistant was only in for the morning up until lunch in the afternoon she didn't really do much so um, I decided that I'd try and help her um, and that was quite hard because it meant I didn't get to spend as much time with my friends but in the end I think it did actually help her because um, she managed to make lots of friends and because of my behaviour I think other people decided to do that as well so other people started playing with her making friends with her and she's actually really nice yeah but thank you i i think that's um in some ways that can't have been an, the easy thing to do would have been gone be with your friends wasn't it so that was quite a hard thing to do to say actually i'm not going to do this but this is what i'm i, I i'm going going to do um and i guess yeah, that comes out of you know our faith what are the things that would jesus do what does jesus see in us and what does Jesus see in other people? And it's a great example of how uh, we live out our faith in the things that we do. Uh, and it sounds like, I mean, it changed, it, it changes lives for, for all sorts of people, not just for the girl that you, you help, but for the, for the friends that you will now share together. Um, there's a phrase that we use here a lot where Jesus said, I've come that you may have life in all its fullness. It's a great, great verse. Uh, and and that's what you've shown us what it is to live life to the full Beth thank you so much uh, really great to talk to you and um, thank you every blessing good to talk to you you too thank you thanks <laughs>